doing a mini unboxing. Why? Because if this is what I think it is, it deserves an its own unboxing. <laughs> um, I just got notification that I had mail. I hope it's what I think it is. I, I, mmm. It is what I think it is. Oh, y'all don't even know. Okay, y'all don't even know. This guy, let me just tell you. Back in February, <laughs> I decided to take action. I got a present. I guess our my on the wedding day, we gave each other presents. And this was my present. I got a Gucci watch, okay, a watch. Um, Brandon got it from, I think, Belk. I had been eyeing it, but I think that was as far as it got. You know what? I was eyeing it and then before we could decide if to buy it or not, I realized I looked down because I was like, I want the watch to match my ring. And I looked down and my ring was gone and I was like, oh no. And this is like a week after we got engaged. And I panicked and I ran through the mall. This is South Park Mall. I think I've told this story like three times. I ran through the mall, I raced to the car. Uh, once I told him what I was looking for and what I was running for, I was in heels so I could barely run. He like raced ahead of me. And we got there and found my ring on the floor in the parking lot, okay? It was on my lap, I put on lotion, I stood up and it just fell and I didn't even notice. Um, so I never purchased it, but he surprised me and got it for me. So on the wedding morning, I was like unboxing it. I think there's a picture up somewhere of me like reading the little card he gave with it. So the watch was great, but after a while, the strap kept coming loose and falling off. And so I went to Belk, I went to all these places, they tried to fix it. And eventually they told me this looks like a manufacturer's defects. Like they would fix it, it would be fine for like a month and then it would come open again. So finally I said, you know what, I've had enough. Give me the contact number for who I need to send it to at Gucci to fix this because this is driving me nuts. And I, I think at that point I'd had it since our wedding, so October 2017 to, this was February this year that I gave up and I said, I'm just gonna send it off to get fixed. So I sent it to Gucci and then everything shut down. Uh, so first we moved. I had to email them again my new address and I was so scared they were gonna send it to the old place. Uh, but the old place is owned by my friend so I knew I could always call her if it came there. But I just was like, where is this item? I called them and then they were like, our warehouse is closed, our factory and repair shops are all closed due to COVID. So obviously, psh. But eventually I called again and I emailed and nobody responded so I called, somebody picked up, this is last week. And they were like, oh, we got your watch fixed. It's not a manufacturer's defect. You know, you have to pay. And I was like, it wasn't a lot of money. It wasn't a lot of money, but I was just so frustrated. They'd had it for so long. Everyone told me it was manufacturer's defect. And here you are telling me it's not. Um, so I was just like, no, I kind of don't think that's the case. I think you guys should look into it again. Eventually they were like, we'll just ship it back to you. We fixed it already. We're just talking to you, wasting your time. <laughs> like they just were like laughing about it. They were like, we'll just send it to you. So they sent it, but I didn't have a tracking number. So I just saw the package and because it said signed for contact or sign in receipt, it just looked kind of like certified mail. I figured it was something pricey because they made me mail it to them certified to make sure that it got there and it was safe and nobody stole it. Um, so yeah, I got this cutie back. I'm so excited. It's mine because it's got the scuffs to prove it. Um, but yeah, it has some stones in the center. I don't know if you can see that well. Yeah, so those are the stones I was saying. Oh, I wanted to match my, my ring. Oh my gosh, my hands are so ashy. I wash my hands a lot now that, you know, with the state of things. But I'm gonna try it on. And what was going on was there was a link here. There was a link up here that just kept coming undone and the whole thing would just be hanging off. Also, ignore my nails, it's been a minute. I should be getting them done this weekend, I think. But, oh my gosh, you guys, they fit and they are not, it's not coming loose. Cause that link would just, it would just fly off right here. I don't know if you can see. This link right here would just come undone. It would just open up. Um, so I'm glad it's not doing that right now. I'm gonna just take off my little I've had to wear the Apple Watch this whole time just because. But yeah, it's fixed, y'all. I'm excited. I'm so excited. 
I just wanted to show you guys because I thought that was what it was and it was. Um, this is a little receipt and it's got like an invoice and everything. It doesn't even say how much, but I think on the phone she had said it was like a $40 repair, which is why they were like, just take it. <laughs> um, but yes, so this is my watch back. It's my wedding present and it's just in time for our anniversary, um, which should be, I guess by the time this goes up, it might already be our anniversary, it's in October. Uh, but yeah, I feel really special. I'm excited. I feel brand new. Don't you love getting your stuff back? Like my shoes getting it redone it makes it feel like you have a new one it puts a new like lease on it it gives it another like what two three years um in this case probably longer because i plan to keep going back to them if i have any fixes that need to be done uh but yeah i just wanted to come and show you guys what happened and i'm really thrilled i'm so shiny i can't believe how shiny i am it's been a long day i had a doctor's appointment this morning I did not get them to dilate my eyes because I need to be able to work from home. Uh, but yeah, I've been up since seven and it is currently, I don't trust this watch. I don't think they said it. Hey, they did set it. It's three, so <laughs> I'm on my little break. Um, but yeah, gonna go back to work. I just thought I would come in and show y'all my little unboxing. Yep. I love my hair still. All that work, it's very its very uh, freeing, I would say, to just get up and go. I don't, I mean, I already got up and went, but <laughs> this feels even more free, so. Thanks for watching this little tidbit. All right, so quick outfit of the day. <laughs> Y'all remember these shoes? I just picked them up from Old Navy. Yes, so just got these from Old Navy. Dress is old, seen it before. Hair is new. Check out that length. You can't see it, can you? Yep, it's down to here. <laughs> um, yeah, and of course you saw the bag. So yeah, this is my look of the day. Let me do that so you can see the full length. Uh, it's only been, I think, a week since my hair got done. Um, I don't know if I've talked about my hair, but I used a couple of things of okay, yarn. So for my hair, I used yarn, it's regular yarn. I got, uh, so I went to Michael's and I asked her, I said, which yarn should I get? And she was like, uh, their yarn was more expensive than this yarn. So I said, do I get this or do I get yours? Actually, no, this was, yeah, their yarn was more expensive. So I said, which one should I get? And she goes, well, the store yarn should be cheaper, but since it's not, I would go with a better brand because this is nationwide net recognized. So I used, um, let's see, I used three, well, two and a half, really. Uh, this is what's left of the third one, uh, quite a bit left. And what I did was I put it on the door here and just measured it with my elbow, just pull it on the door. Um, <laughs> Because I was trying to get them really long and so I would try to use the door to hold them. Um, I was home alone. Brandon uh, traveled. So yeah, I just kind of did it alone by myself and I just did it over the span of I think Wednesday night, Thursday night. Was it Wednesday night? I think I started really late Wednesday night, like midnight. Um, and then I did Thursday night and then I did Satur Friday night and Saturday morning. Uh, but I had that shoot with um, Chimsy Fashions. So it wasn't even done for that shoot. I don't know if you can tell, but half my hair, I was done with the braids, but the ends were not done. And I hadn't, you know, I dipped it in hot water to seal the ends so it's not unraveling or leaving wool all over my clothes. Um, so that wasn't done until Saturday night. So when I came back after the shoot, I finished the ends. I just, I had braided up to here, but I hadn't finished some of their ends. So I finished the ends, dipped it in a pot of hot water. Um, and that was how I did my hair. So I meant to come on here and tell you about it earlier, but clearly I've been busy. Um, so now it's Saturday. It's a Saturday before Brandon's birthday. And we are going on a little staycation because we can't really do much this year. So we're going to the Grand Bohemian in Charlotte. Um, and we're just going to chill out. So yeah, if you want to come along, see what the birthday boy looks like. We'll get moving. Great community. So I just did my first curbside pickup at Macy's. That was awesome. Um, going to the mall. I've, I've gone to the mall since this whole thing started. However, um, the hand sanitizers, there's a lot of them around. But there's a lot of pens and doors and two doors to get into the mall 
quite a lot of touch-in um, and we are very late for our reservation I mean we were supposed to try to get an early check-in at noon and this is us going at what for what is it 448 and check-in was at 4 so I don't even know what kind of room we're gonna get now um, Brandon had said um, he tried to get an early check-in for noon. They never gave me the mobile pass, so I guess they just want us to go to the desk to get it. Yeah, they want us to go to the desk, so we didn't get the mobile pass. We were waiting for that with the app so that we would know we got the early check-in we requested. So we just, plus we weren't ready. We were being bums. We took our time, which is what he wanted for his birthday. He wanted to be chill. Yeah, um, so yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're now heading there. We're 14 minutes out. Uh, but Macy's curbside pickup, I think you order it on the website and it's ready in an hour. They say give them an hour and it's been ready since yesterday. I just, <laughs> um, it's an outfit for tomorrow because I don't know if what I have is enough. So I guess I was trying to look for something and they had this on sale for super cheap. So we'll see if it's my size because I didn't find my real size um, available. So it's probably not my size, but I said, let me try it. If it's not, I'll just return it. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. So we are heading uptown. <laughs> in the bathroom this is kind of a cool little blacked out shower it's really nice okay so there you guys gets a little brighter yeah oh. okay well, it's really blacked out look at that it's blacked out it's nice though yeah mm -hmm. it's pretty cool this is the mirror oh I love can you see that? That's a lot of detail. So that artwork will scare me a little bit at night, but it's pretty. That's how the other place was, remember? Look at this. Is that the same lady? Remember no, it's being? not, Brandon. <laughs> Stop it. This is the birthday boy. Y'all yeah. check him out. Oh, I can take my mask off finally. I try not to talk with it on because of lipstick getting all over my face. Uh -huh. Anyway, so here. Okay, that scared me a little bit. What? <laughs> oh, this is lovely and we wanted city view so let's check out the view I'm gonna step on this little guy oh, I love already oh look at the view we got I like it I don't necessarily like that but that's Charlotte everywhere has construction but this is absolutely lovely this is really cool this is nice. Everything's very new here because the hotel, when did it open? A couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Weeks and this is their busiest weekend, like the guy at the front desk said. So, oh, look at that. That's even got details. Look at the details on every piece of furniture. It's all very well thought out. 
So, oh, Brandon's rocking his fashion overfit. Did we talk about it? No. Come towards the lights, baby. Mm -hmm. Come on. He's like, I'm shy. Look at how gorgeous you look. Yes, baby. Yes. I love it. I absolutely love it. They had a sale a couple of weeks ago, and so he kind of did some stuff. He picked it all out, by the way. I didn't get nothing from them, so <laughs> he has good taste. Look at that. I'm feeling it. This is the dress I just picked up from Macy's. It is definitely too small, uh, but it was juniors, so the sizing was weird, and like I said, they sold out of everything in my size. They had it, but you'd have to wait five days to get it, and I decided to get a dress two days ago, so <laughs> I failed myself. Uh, but I just noticed they gave us antibacterial wipes. Brandon said he noticed a while ago, and I'm late to the game, but my bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, even the cords are purple for the little lamps. How cute is that? I'm really feeling this room. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop talking about it now. But yeah, this I don't even know if I need to try on. I just know it's not my size. This is the back. It's just gonna make me feel bad <laughs> that I'm a big, big girl. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so I'll just hang this up. Oh my god, oh my god, that was so awkward. Yeah. I'm trying to see if they're coming back. We just ran into a bride and a groom, okay? Yeah, there's a wedding, and it's a private group, white private wedding, and we went to the floor that we thought was the <laughs> was the reception, yeah. and, and we well, like the, said the reception. We thought it was the restaurant, yeah. and she's like, this is our private reception. Oh my oh, god, but she was the sweetest yeah, bride. Was they were so pretty, yeah. but yeah, yikes. going as as we were talking about Dari's artwork I'm just gonna stop for a minute okay so as we were talking about Dari's artwork the R a group of bikers decided to make a statement Brandon actually said he saw them throwing up white power symbols while they rode past my battery died while I was filming the guy riding past so I had to like switch to my phone but I missed a lot of them but it was like six bikers and they thought it would be okay to ride over the signs and I just don't understand and the reason the artist had to come back and repaint was because a couple of people actually had ridden over it with their cars and left skid marks on it on purpose so they repainted and they barricaded and closed the road so no thorough traffic and here you are I just don't understand it it's very annoying like especially if I was an artist and I spent all that time working on it and you're just gonna come to spoil it for me like you're not hearing the message He loves caramel over chocolate any day. <laughs> That's good, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I was hoping you wouldn't get d dessert where we were. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't. They had cheesecake. But yeah. So you like it? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. good. My, you don't have to thank me. I just, it's the least I could do. <laughs>
So we're heading out. We're a little late to pick up the car. Mm -hmm. Birthday boy. Mm -hmm. I like your outfit. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, this is my look. Brenton picked it out. Uh, you've seen this dress before. Anyway, let's head out. Mm -hmm. Car's waiting. Were you bored? Hmm? Were you bored, Betsy? Hey, did you miss us? Oh, <laughs> hey, 
He's so happy now. He was like, who are they? I hear sounds. I've had a few false alarms. <laughs> hey. Hey, baby. Hey, how are you doing? Hmm? Let me go wash my hands. How are you doing? I love you. Okay, just made it back home. I gotta tell you, that was interesting. So I got to drive the car back and I was so scared because Brandon was my map. <laughs> Brandon, yeah. were you not? No. So let me find lighting. Okay, so Brandon was my map and he was like, I'll tell you when to turn. I'm like, do you gotta tell me soon? Because I had to adjust everything and I was kind of nervous. Uh, but he was good, he was a good co-pilot. Um, yeah, so oh, they gave him this cup to keep the children's. Can you see it? Children's vineyard. So when you do wine tasting, you get to keep the glass, which is great because we never have. I don't think we have a tall one. We have a lot of short wine glasses, uh, so that was nice. Um, I thought the car handled well. Yeah, yeah. He says it handled well. All in all, it was a good day. He wanted a chill birthday, so we literally sat in the sun. We definitely got a tan. <laughs> And it's been a few hours. He was like, we're going to stay till they close. And that's what we did. I think they closed. We left at 4 something and they closed 4.30. So that was good. Uh, but yeah, now we're just going to relax. We do have dinner reservations, but if we need to cancel and just do takeout, we will. Because, yeah, he looks really tired. So that's probably what we're going to do. I wish I had known I would have parked better. My will is turned funny. Okay, we'll figure it out. Anyway. Just wanted to say, well, yeah, we're back. Wine tasting was great. He did the wine tasting. I, as a designated driver, did not drink. Um, so, yeah, I think I mostly drank water because it was really hot. As you can see, I have mask lipstick, mask, mask makeup, mask everything. Ugh. COVID, man. Unless you don't wear lipsticks, you will end up with lipstick all over your face. No matter how matte, and this is really matte, no matter how matte the lipstick is. Yeah. There's no saving it. <laughs> anyway, all right, so I'm gonna go change, get out of these sweaty clothes, and just kind of relax. Uh, the VMAs come on at eight. He hates award shows, so I'll probably go to a different room to watch that. Uh, but I'm mostly gonna play with Mateo. Because it's been a day, a day, yeah. And he's missed us. I also need to bring my little plant in. Can you see it? Can you see the plant? Yes. Yes. We didn't trust leaving him with it because he likes to get sand all over the inside. So I'm going to bring it back in because it is an indoor plant and it could actually hurt it being outside. I, I, right? Could it? I don't know. But I did hear because it's an indoor plant, I should keep it inside. So we'll do that. And I also don't want to bring bugs in, which is, I think, why he gets, gets all over the sand because I think he's trying to police it, get anything coming out of it. <laughs> Which is interesting, he already caught a lizard. Yeah, coming out of the plant. So if you buy indoor plants, be careful. So dinner is here. Ooh. This is good. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. Where is this from? Your Rico. Oh my okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't really sleep well. I was thinking about it all night. Um, but Brandon seems to be like. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna wrap it up. We're dropping off the car. It's a great day. Excited. <laughs> um, excited because I took Berlin's birthday off, so I actually have a day off coming. My God, is this the shakiest footage you ever got in your life? Um, anyway, so that's it. That's it. You know, sign out for the day. I just wanted to come back in one last time in this lovely car. Thank you.